Cher and Pedro, more than a month after this brutal attack on a liquor store owner, the man responsible is still at large. Long Beach police have just released images of that suspect from surveillance footage, and we have some surveillance footage. But first, a warning to viewers it is graphic. It was a violent attack caught on camera. Sunday, January 30th, Frank's Liquor Store in Long Beach. 65 year old shop owner Young Ja Lee has a confrontation with a stranger. She appears to wave her hands in a gesture of no or go away, and then with one swift and savage blow, the man stabs her in the back of the neck and she hits the floor. Long Beach police have released these stills from other surveillance footage, which they say offer clear views of the attacker's face. The victim's family members believe the man in the red jacket with white stripes along the sleeves went into the liquor store that day intending to harm someone. Although investigators are not currently treating this as a hate crime, the Lees think that is a possibility. I was really shocked, horrified. It's, it's, it's not something I expected. It was just horrible. Young Ja Lee faces a long battle in her recovery. The knife injured her spinal cord, and now she is partially paralyzed and cannot speak. She has been moved to a rehabilitation facility. It, it's so weird. My mom, when I go home, my mom's not there. It's, it's, it's so weird and terrible. I just want the police to catch this person as soon as possible because this guy is really dangerous and then he was not came, he didn't came for steal anything he just came for her someone anyone with information should contact long beach police live in long beach chris wolf ktla 5 news